here. Who can we send? Sonic and Silver need time to heal. We've engaged enemy forces at Seaside Hill. We can't spare anyone. What exactly happened to Silver in the last? He just got beaten uh, up by um, Infinite. I like that they mention Seaside Hill here, but uh, I don't think it shows up as a stage in this game, so they're just acknowledging it exists, which I like. Okay, rookie, I've got a tough one for you. I need you to head back to the. I also like the fact that we are literally the last person they want to ask to do this. Like, why can't they do any of this exactly? They've just told us why. I no didn't one, hear. No one's available. Ah. <laughs> that's that's why we're but, last choice. They, but Knuckles is like right there, they giving ask us around orders. Everyone and no one's available, so we're doing it. <laughs> so that's our hammer. And if I jump and use it, you do that, which is really cool. <laughs> I do like the hammer. <laughs> it's, it's not a very good power, but it looks great. So there you go, turn them all into cubes. And if you touch them, they kind of pop. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, I can go like that, and now they're all immobilised. <laughs> you can't, um... You can't homing attack them if they're oh. like this. Oh yeah, so I should explain, actually. We're quite a long way in, I haven't mentioned it. The homing attack is handled for the Avatar. The Avatar can't homing attack. That's a Sonic-only thing. But the Avatar does have a grappling hook. So, the idea is you just lock on with your grappling hook. Bam! All at once. <laughs> They're all so mean. They don't think you can do this. And so why the bloody hell did send they? <laughs> I know. I know. I just I don't get it. Right. So this is the ability, the special ability of cube. There you go. We can create cubes in midair. And then it just runs out of power. Oh. So you never have enough energy to be able to do that and get anywhere. It's just a completely useless ability. Yeah, we just collected a fire whisk, but we can't use it because we've got cube. So you can kind of see, like, see how these rings are arranged. If we had the lightning whisk, we could do a light speed dash thing and just zip along them. And if we had the red whisk, we could have like fire bounced all the way up here, but because we've got the cube, we just have to do it the old fashioned way. Yeah. Yay, all the bits of all the chunks of robots flying around all over the place. Eh? Ow. <laughs> I wanted to get that red ring. Uh, is it still there? Yeah. No, oh, no. <laughs> Aww. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do. Yeah, another time. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I pressed the A button again to double jump, but I must have hit the ground before that. <laughs> so yeah, this is how wisp. This is how the uh, cube wisp works. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's quite fun to Even use. Even if it isn't the best wisp to use. No, there are it's better fun wisps. Making blocks. Yeah. Plus, if you have an OC who uses a hammer, there you go, you got a hammer now. <laughs> if you jump right here, you can shortcut over this entire section. So there's a whole section of level underneath us that we're not going through. Oh, the hammer doesn't work on flying enemies, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a it's a ground attack, presumably, so it's not yeah. going to work on flying types. Works through uh, shockwaves. I like how we just run through this level and they're like, Congratulations, you saved everyone! It's like, didn't do anything. <laughs> I was just trying to get out of there. Well, we died a few times, so it's not going to be an escrow. Although, if we'd changed our body parts or whatever and got that bonus, we probably would have got an S grade done anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, because it, cause it <laughs> gives you extra XP. Oh, yeah. So it would just artificially advance your score up to an S. <laughs> um, I like that we've got a checkered shirt with a tie if we wanted to be someone's dad. 
Oh yeah, we've got golden armor feet there as well. I quite like that because you can pretend you're playing like Sonic uh, and the Black Knight. <laughs> that was impressive, but we still have a lot to do. Great. Well, of course it was impressive. You your your expectations for me are so incredibly low. Yeah, <laughs> they're really mean to you. <laughs> yeah, they really don't like me. Just a I mean... bunch of ass hats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the one in an ass hat, to be fair. <laughs> okay, stage thirteen, Casino Forest. But it's worth it. Tails, seriously, get a life. Come on, we have to go find him and tell him about Eggman's plan. Whatever his plan is, Eggman's You've got to tell him what his plan is, but you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Tails is just a total idiot in this game, and it's a real shame. <laughs> According to what I overheard, Sonic should be here. It feels weird asking you to look for Sonic, but we're counting on you. Sonic, look for Sonic. So this level may look familiar. So does Classic Sonic know what he his future self will look like? Well, it depends what you mean by that, because this isn't past Sonic. Oh. So Sonic from the past was in Sonic Generations, and he did know that he would become that Sonic. Um. And this Sonic, I don't know, I mean, I suppose he will end up looking like modern Sonic, maybe? But he, as far as he's concerned, he's a Sonic from another dimension. And the thing is, if you think about it though, in the original Sonic timeline, it went Sonic 1, 2, 3, and then Sonic Adventure 1. And Sonic learned the... By the time he got there, he learned the uh, homing attack. We never saw him learn it, he just knew it. Hmm. But then, if you consider that Sonic came back in time, shortly after Sonic 3, and met himself in the past, he teaches himself the homing attack. Which oh. is why, in Sonic 4, he knows the homing attack. <laughs> Even though he didn't know it in Sonic 3. And so, Does that create a bit of a paradox where... So how did he learn the, the attack in the first place? Exactly. So <laughs> what it's done, it, instead of creating a loop, it's just created three timelines. The original timeline, the Sonic 4 timeline, and a third timeline, which is the Sonic Mania timeline, which this game belongs in, or rather this Sonic has come from. Which is why he's not Sonic from the past, because this Sonic's past version is the one that's in Generations. So, whoever this guy is the past version of, we don't know. Although he's just another alternate dimension Sonic. Oh look, we unlocked a mask. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> also, we got some blue Dr. Robotnik boots. And tiger stripes. Yeah. Oh, and a blue Amy dress. Oh, we are getting the benefits of um, Daily Mission now as well. We must have triggered one. Ah. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is an Avatar mission as well, by the look of it. Let's just take a look at our Avatar. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, now that we've seen your cube... <laughs> that's pretty cool. He reminds me of Cubot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now that we've seen the cube, we can switch it for the asteroid? I've already forgotten what it was. It was asteroid, yeah. <laughs> uh, footwear, no, I still haven't got it. I don't know, I can't remember when you start unlocking um, characters' actual shoes. Hmm. I guess maybe after we fight them or something. There we go, we can be boring. Or we can cross-dress. <laughs> Puffer Jack With and Shadow. The... <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> That's actually kind of disturbing. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> shadow, no. Dude. We can be Tiger Shadow. That's quite subtle. That's really weird. I'm assuming that's just not rendering properly, maybe, when you when you got it on. But it just looks weird with the shadow head. No, that's rendering properly. But if, oh. we, if we switch the upper headgear for the white one, now it looks perfectly fine. 
I suppose, actually, no, you're right. It's not rendering completely <laughs> properly because the white of my body should be the same white as the hat. Hmm. And it will be, if we're going to cutscenes, it will be identical. But in this mode, for some reason, it doesn't render right. So, yeah, you're right. It's not quite <laughs> right. Um, yeah, he is supposed to be pure white with black stripes. Hmm. Anywho, let's put that wispon on. Wispon on. Wispon. Oh, yeah, also, look, it spins. <gasps> Ooh. So we're going to have... Little cube, little sort of pixel men following us around, <laughs> and they're really distracting. <laughs> I like Silver. I feel like he gets more to do in this game than most of the other ones. <laughs> Still not playable, but you know. Aww. I like how Shadow get, not only gets a playable appearance in this, you can actually play a shadow in this game, but also you get the costume so you can make your character look like him. But what about Infinite? Yeah, I want to wear his Tamamitsune mask. Yeah, and Silver for that matter. So yeah, there you go, look, we've got little little clones following us around. And we can shoot weird. them. I can fire them off like a gun. They're weird. Yeah, they're really strange, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, that's the uh, asteroid. I don't know why asteroid means tiny pixel people, but there you go. Oh look, motor bugs. <laughs> uh, uh, they don't hurt you if you touch them, they just ricochet you all over the place. So this entire level is pretty much just this, um, hmm. and it's really hard. It doesn't look it, but falling off this thing is really easy, especially with all these motor bugs bouncing around all over the place. I can... can I jump? No. I can go up the side and get launched. It's not a good idea! <laughs> because the thing is, when you're in the air, you can't really correct your trajectory. Hmm. I forgot my character has a deep voice, so suddenly him goes, ah! Ah! <laughs> Right, let's use my ability. It's pretty much just a gun. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> no. Uh. Oh, I nearly fell out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. That was inevitable. <laughs> Controlling this game is hard. <laughs> I do like the fact that I can destroy most of these guys in one hit. Well, look at you, rookie. Having fun in the water? Can we get to hear that great voice acting again. Ow! Jeez, guys. I'm going down a different flume now. Whoa. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. You never got to name your avatar, did you? Nah, nah, they didn't give you the option to. Ah, oh, so you're just forever going to be referred to as Rookie. Yeah, well, I mean, voice acting wise, it wouldn't suppose, matter if you yeah. named it, they won't. They can't usually call you by name anyway, but. No, the game doesn't give you a text entry for your character either. So if your character does have a name, you just have to know it in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I quite like that. Bowser Jr. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, we've got a new cube one. So oh. the difference what? between th that and the previous one mm -hmm. is, can you see underneath it? It's got two little symbols. Yes. Well, that means that this Wispen has two abilities additional to anything else. It's more oh. powerful, basically, than the previous one. Hmm. Um, and you'll start to receive them as rewards and you'll be able to select between a whole bunch of different combinations. Hmm. So our character has discovered this. This mm. fell off of Infinite during the fight with Silver. Shiny. Yeah. Uh, my, gems, my gemstones are shinier. We met 